Hi, for this video we are going to solve a linear equation that requires the use of the distributive property. For this one, remember that our goal with an equation is always to get x completely by itself. So if you look at this, right now I have x's on both sides and I have a lot of information on that I can simplify on the left hand side over here. So what I want to do first is I want to make sure that each side, that all like terms are combined and that everything is simplified. So for this one, the first place that we're going to start is we have a negative that's being applied to everything behind it. So we have to use the distributive property. We have to take this negative and apply it to everything in the parentheses behind it. So we really have 8x minus 3x and we have to distribute this negative to the 2 as well, so we would have minus 2. And this gives us equals 3x minus 10. The right hand side is already simplified. There's nothing that we can do to make it easier to work with. Um, the left hand side still has things that we can add together. Since 8x and 3x both have like terms, I can add those together. So 8 minus 3 gives us 5x minus 2 equals 3x minus 10. We now want to get all of our x's onto one side. It doesn't matter whether you move them all to the left or whether you move them all to the right. Um, it does not matter. I tend to move the smaller one, so I'm going to move the 3x because it is smaller. So I would subtract the 3x from both sides. And we end up with 2x minus 2 equals negative 10. If you're more advanced or you've been doing this for a long time, you understand the process, it is possible to move the 2 at the same time. I just am separating it into individual steps. So we still do not have x completely by itself. So what we want to do is do the opposite of what's being done to it. So right now we're subtracting 2. So the opposite of subtracting 2 would be add 2 to both sides. The reason I'm showing the work is a lot of times when we try to do things in our head, we tend to make mistakes and um, end up with the wrong sign, especially when we have different signs over here. I see a lot of students that they move it over and then they make mistakes because they don't actually write down the steps. So just um, always look very carefully about with the variables or sorry, with the signs that you have. Um, since the signs are different, remember that in math, difference means subtraction. So since they're different, we are going to subtract. So 10 minus 2 is 8. And then I would keep the sign of the larger number. Since 10 is larger than 2, I would keep this as a negative. Our last step to get x completely by itself is to divide by 2. So we end up with x equals negative 4. And a lot of us, we get into the habit of we get to an answer. Um, so we think that it's automatically correct. We always want to check just to make sure that we didn't make any mistakes. So let's go ahead and check our work. As far as checking goes, I'm going to show out all the steps for here, but you can easily just check it in your calculator, plug it in. Um, in later videos, I will show you how to use your storing of um, variables features on calculators so that you can just store a variable to plug it in and use your calculator to help you. But for this one, we're just going to do hand calculations. So all I did was I replaced every single x value up here with the answer negative 4. So all of my x's I just replaced with the negative 4. And then we're just going to simplify to make sure that we have the correct answer. So this gives us negative 32. And this, we always do what's inside of the parentheses before subtracting. So I would go ahead and simplify this. This gives me negative 12 plus 2. And again, a lot of this I'm just showing you. I would skip a lot of these steps in my head if I were checking it. Um, but just so that you can see what I'm doing on this side, simplifying 3 times negative 4 gives us negative 12 minus 10. And if we continue to simplify, we end up with negative 22 on this side. And we want to see if this gives us negative 22 as well. So I have negative 32 minus this part right here. Since the 12 again is larger, we would subtract, keep the sign of the larger number, so we get negative 10, negative 10. And because I have a double negative, I really have negative 32 plus 10. And again, we have different signs. And so we would keep the sign of the larger, so I would subtract, keep the sign of the larger, so we end up with 22. And since the 32 is larger, we get negative 22. And we can see 
that both sides give us negative 22 equals negative 22, so we know we did our work correct. That's the nice thing about equations is you can always, always, always check to make sure that your answer is correct, and you should never miss them if you take the time to check it. As always, thanks for watching.